The next thing we want to be able to do with JCut is for you to be able to change the background of your actors into a different background. You could do so by recording an image against a green screen or anything that was green. And you can see that a little bit better on here. Where I fill my actor, actor against the green color background. Now what I want to try and do is change that green color background into uh, another video for the background or a picture. I've already been able to download the picture that I wanted and I then just drag it by clicking under my images tab and I drag it down to the space below. And then I want to make sure that the length of the picture is equal in length to the length of my clip. So I have something appearing on video A and something on video B. For video A, I need to adjust the settings on it, so you just double click on a clip first. Which will automatically go to settings and effects for you. Then what you have to do, make sure, this is your option, the first one, for chroma key. First make sure that chroma key is enabled. And you want to pick the color. This is your little eyedrop tool, so it's going to change whatever color you mainly see and I think I see a lot of the shade so I'm going to click on that and it automatically creates that shade. For the sensitivity you could slide it back and forth. I'm going to put mine, let's put it about 20 and see what that can do. And then you hit preview movie to see how it looks. So you can see right here already once I hit clip uh, play the background has now changed but we got this annoying bar at the bottom. So that's just one thing I've learned that we have to deal with. Um, you can also go back and adjust that number back and forth a little bit to see if you can get any difference. And again, as long as you have the video clip, you could change uh, your background into the video clip background of another movie. I have found out that if you notice that these black bars at the top and bottom of the screen, that is probably why that we're having that cutoff image. So if you're going to get an image from the internet, Make sure it's the same dimensions of your video clip or use video backgrounds from one clip to another one. Um, also what I did on this clip was I went into settings and I adjusted the, the uh, rate for the green screen to go now down to 10 instead of 20. And you can already kind of see the green outline of my actor. But he can now be in front of the video there would be sound, but I muted the this audio clip in the background too. So that is about it. You can change the background for a green screen shot with a picture. Just make sure it's the same dimensions. You can also change it into the background but of another video clip. But just make sure that you have everything recorded on that same similar dimensions to figure it out. And you must put your actor against the green and select that color. That's it. Enjoy and good luck.